vlog number two, heading out the door. I've been waiting for the people that are gonna come and get the espresso machine fixed. They were supposed to be here before noon and I've been here since 8. I'm kind of losing my mind because I have stuff to do. But meanwhile, look at the size of this thing. It's beautiful. So meanwhile, I'm just chilling. I'm uploading the vlog from yesterday. My first vlog. How exciting. And hopefully they get here soon. Um, I don't want to be calling and um, being all obnoxious about it, so I'm going to give them till noon and then I'll give them a call. <laughs> I'm choking from how good this is. Beautiful, look at that. Ready for a night out on the town. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to the store to get some things for Wanda. Okay, nos vemos luego. Adios. They're going to a different store, but I have to pick up a lot of things for um, for pretty much everybody here in Mexico because I'm going to Phoenix for um, my decent block party, and I made a post about how a lot of my friends now that I actually live in Mexico don't make any requests for oh bring me. I don't know Mexican candy or whatever and when I just came to visit it was every time that I would come people would always just be like oh bring me this bring me that I would always have to bring a list so I made a post about it like oh it's weird that now that I live in Mexico um no one asks for anything like when I visit I got like 53 comments on that post of people just like oh bring me this this bring me that the number one most requested thing however was flour tortillas I think I'm not able to bring those across the border, so that's gonna be fun. I need to bring some mezcal, it's like distilled tequila. And usually it has a little worm, like a, an actual worm. I took it for EDC last year. I was the only Mexican, I met up with all my friends from pretty much everywhere. In Colombia, Sweden, Canada, um, Poland. So we each brought a tequila from our respective countries. Or not tequila, alcohol. Instead of taking tequila, which everyone thought I was going to take, I took mezcal, which is like 10 times stronger than tequila. Today is Mexico's Independence Day, so a lot of the stores are closed. It's already late, so I'm trying to get that done ASAP. I need to touch on something real quick that I thought was ridiculous. It didn't really hit me or like strike a nerve until right now. I was putting gas and... Um, here in Mexico, they pump gas for you so you don't get out of the car or anything. I'm going to Phoenix, so I have to fill up my tank. Usually, I always put gas once I cross the border, but I have more pesos than dollars right now. One dollar, usually it's around 11, 12 pesos. Right now, it's at 17. 17. And when I was putting gas, when they told me, he was like, oh, it's like 120 pesos. That's ridiculous. I mean, I just handed over the money, but yeah, that just happened and I'm shocked. And if you think about it, every time that I go there, that's why I, I don't go there that often, is because 
it's so expensive for me. I'm paying like 35% more than I would usually pay to, to visit. If I have to pay $100 for something, now the difference for me, because I have to buy dollars, then I would be paying $140 instead of $100. That's a big difference because I am going to be spending that much. I mean, just, I, I'm going for about three days, so just on food for all those days is uh, gonna be around that much. That's what rustled my jimmies just now. Let's see what this place has. Got the, the bags of Cheetos right there. I was thinking of just making baggies like like at a Christmas party. I think it's a good idea. Quanta cuesta? So the key to vegetarian um, or even vegan eating in Mexico, I went to a hot dog stand right now. I just ordered it without the sausage. It tastes as delicious. Anywhere you go, they will have a vegetarian or vegan options. That was a red light. I'm headed to my brother's and I'm going to start making the candy bags when I get there. It's interview day! So I already interviewed four people. All four people were overqualified for this job, which is crazy. I'm on the fence about it. Half of me wants to refuse to give them a job here because they're overqualified. But the other half of me feels like if these types of people are looking for jobs like these, a supervisor of this huge company, uh, this electrical technician, people with degrees are looking for a job at a coffee shop for even part-time. If necessary, then who am I to deny them that? The struggle is real. Now with all the free time that I'm having, I'm going to put together some candy bags of assorted Mexican candy for my friends because I miss them a lot and it's, it's nothing fancy but I really hope that they like it. So one more person showed up, they pointed out the, the Starbucks cup and I'm like, yeah, maybe I should be using one from here, but this one that I had at home, I drink this every morning. It's literally just water with a tangerine, a lime, and lemon, sometimes some orange. It's so good. This is my second one today. I just thought it was funny that someone pointed out the Starbucks cup. And this is how I'm passing the time. Super delicious chimichangas. If I can't get over how good these potatoes are right now. 10 hours later. I haven't done the bags. Fuck my life. <laughs> 